Welcome back to PG Chain Design. Today I would like to talk about this ribbon pendant or oftentimes be a charm. Sometimes confused on this turning part. So let's talk about this in detail. Are you ready? Let's get started. You can bring in the image that you found online with the command picture. If you are using the Rhino 5, you will use picture frame. And either one is fine. I'm going to use this one and click OK. Now we're going to bring in the image inside. Try to move it into the center if possible. Uh, we are going to uh, move it around. So if it is not exactly in the center, that's fine. And that's coming into the top view. I'm going to lock on this. Uh, surface so it won't accidentally to touch it and let's trace over it so I'm going to first using this curve and the first curve is on the top so it's also going to follow this curve over there all right and then you can bring in closer to your design if you want to by tweaking the control point to get it fitting into the design better the second one is actually the bottom one the bottom one is actually coming over there's a little section that's missing over here i'm gonna use the curve command again make sure the smart track is on on the bottom gonna coming over here to have my mouse stay on the at the end point do not click on it but move your mouse down so it will go a straight line down and that two line will have a, a the same beginning and then we're gonna come in over here make sure that you trace over uh, follow your design or you can tweak it later if you want to so i'm going to trace it something like that again you can turn on the control point if you feel like this is too much of a bump you want to uh, get smoother or something like that so I'm going to stay like this now this is uh, we already done with this picture we don't need it anymore so I'm going to unlock it first and just hide it just in case we need to call it back now when we are looking at the, those two and um, it may not be as smooth as you want you can use two way first you can rebuild this one into the last point so maybe eight point instead of you know uh, 10 and then um, you can easier to move it around to make sure that it is smooth let's go back to one step another way you can use the command is actually called smooth and then with the smooth command you are going to make them smoother or closer or whatever like that it will move a little bit you can kind of tweak it into the way that you like you click ok so this line will be smoother now we can do exactly the same with the same setting so it will get two lines like that then we want what we wanted to do next is actually to bring in the dimension so i'm coming over here let me turn it one into other colors easier for you to see okay so this one is on the top so i'm going to simply just moving this one for whatever how high you want it to be right so i don't need it to be extremely high so i'm going to uh, make it something like that oh by the way make sure those two now is the size that you want i have it roughly about 20 millimeter if it is too small for you make sure you want to size up okay so now i have this i'm going to create a line in between here and here and also in between here and here okay so you probably already see what i'm going to do let me turn this into the green color so it's easier for you to see uh, in the perspective all right so we are going to creating the surface let's, let's use the command sweep to rail and you got rail one rail two cross section here cross section here and we got the surface right there okay now in some of the design you have a little bit opening at the bottom so what i like to do is coming into the top view and using the polyline i want to snapping into the end point here and end point right there for the opening so i'm going to pick up this one and use the trim command and we want to trim this open so that way uh, we will have that opening there make sure you are trimming on the top view okay all right so that's turning into solid i'm gonna pick up this one and we're gonna turn it into solid by the command offset surface 
and we are going to offset now you can offset outside or inside in this case i would like it to offset outside and for one millimeter and this is what we get if we offset inside let's flip it and you will get something like that i usually like to don't like to offset inside in this case because it's going to create that kind of overlapping there so let's do it again i want to offset outside make sure it is solid and then we won't have that kind of ugly overlapping all right so before i mirror to the other side i would like to uh, make sure they are nice and rounded on um, all the sharp points so we are going to use the fillet edges let's try the radius for point to select all of them but one thing i do not want to select is actually here those uh, area where it's going to contact when we mirror to the other side so that's using the point tools and see what the result is okay let's take a look on the render view make sure we don't have like a weird spot anywhere okay so it look fine let's take a look on this view and also double check on the close on your property will show close solid poly surface it's really really important to check on the step instead of uh, check on the very uh, last step before you turning for print okay notice that a little bit tiny thing here you see this this is not a straight line so if i mirror i have to use the back line as my mirror line so i'm gonna use a mirror command and i'm gonna snapping into any side in the back and holding the shift and click on it so that way they have some overlapping there and if you don't like that look once you're bowling you need to clean it up another thing that we can do is we can draw a straight line and just give it a clean cut so let's draw a straight line coming over here and we want to use this line to trim off the one on the left so now i have a clean cut over there so now we have an opening there let's use the cap command first to make sure that it is a solid and then we are going to use a mirror command and we're snapping into this point to this point and then we can bowling unit together so now not only it is connect together we also get rid of the uh, surface right in the middle where it's connect over there double check that this is a closed solid poly surface so that will be your ribbon all you need to do later is put on a jump ring then that will be a pendant or a charm i hope you enjoyed today's video whether you are a beginner or you are more advanced jewelry cat designer there are three things you need to know to boost your jewelry cat design skill i have a free webinar for you and the link is in the description below hope you like it and thank you for watching i'll see you next